Ici, c'est la galerie Focus sur l'avenue de Lutte, 68 de Lutte Est. This is Gallery Focus, our cultural center, non-profit cultural center. And we started in 1986, 1987. And we started off as an art gallery, and then we got a restaurant permit. On a commencé en, uh, dans l'année 1987 comme galerie d'art. Maintenant, il y a un permis de restaurant aussi. Alors, je vous présente ici notre petit endroit ici sur l'avenue de Lutte. De Lutte, c'est une promenade entre Saint-Laurent et uh, Saint-Denis, avec plein de monde qui vient. Alors, voilà. Ici, c'est le, le menu de la galerie de Cheyenne. On peut voir sa cuisine hangwa. Cuisine hangwa jetain aussi. Avec uh, des soupes, des schnitzel, tout ça. Sans taxes. Alors, ici c'est Cheyenne, encore une fois, avec le spécial du jour pour les lunchs, pour les déjeuners. Schnitzel. Et dans la fenêtre, il y a des broderies qui viennent de la Palestine. So here we have, you know, the daily special here of a uh, lunch, lunch uh, item. And uh, hanging in the window are the embroideries which have come from Palestine, from uh, Rana, Rana Hamdan Abu Rahman. And she lives in the village of Berlin. Yeah, that's the traditional patterns there. So the Zan traditional Palestinian, tout fait à la main. All right. Ici, on va entrer. OK, here we go. Here's the uh, service counter for takeout. And there's Anna of Cheyenne. Then, ça c'est le comptoir de emporter. Ici, c'est le présentoir avec les broderies encore plus. Ici, on se mes livres qui traitent euh, de la Palestine aussi. <coughs> Ça va acheter le c'était le camp de réfugiés des Palestiniens dans le Liban durant le, la guerre de 82-85. Et ça, c'est ma thèse doctorale. Moi, ouais. à l'Université de Québec à Montréal. So, these are my books. Uh, that's my thesis that was uh, completed as a doctoral thesis at the University of Quebec of Montreal. And that's my first book on the um, Palestinian refugee camp of Sabra Shatila that uh, was attacked and massacred in 1982 during the war and invasion of Lebanon by the Zionist State of Israel, actually. And here's the embroideries, more embroideries, done by Rana Hamdan Abu Rahman. Now, the exhibition right now in the gallery is uh, of uh, photos of the Palestinians. Here is 1948. This is what the Palestinians uh, were subjected to in 1948 when they were kicked out of their homes by um, you know, a series of massacres in their various villages. About 500 villages, in effect. And uh, they had to resort to living in tents like this supported by the United Nations Refugee Relief uh, Association, which had its funds, you know, just cut off by uh, the uh, presumably ex-President Trump. Here is uh, Milton Kidd holding a Palestine flag and a Fatah party, the governing party in the West Bank, 
flag. See if I can get some. Yeah, that's a better view. Those are the uh, colonies set up by the uh, Sinus settlers who are heavily subsidized by the government. You see, c'est un des ça, c'est quoi l'enjeu là en Palestine? Parce que ça, c'est les les colons, les colonies. Mais il y a un Palestine qui regarde les colonies. Probablement, ils travaillent là pour construire les colonies pour euh, les sinus qui entrent avec plein de subventions. Ah, this is a. Uh, ici, c'est un garçon avec le drapeau de Fatah, le parti gouvernant uh, dans le. Transjordanie. Et on regarde au terre là, c'est toutes les euh, canettes euh, qui viennent des euh, grenades de gaz et de sort. Ici c'est notre garçon. Et son euh, compagnon là, qui lance les roches contre les soldats qui ont envahi les villages avec une, euh, une affaire. Euh, Comme le, comme le David contre le Goliath. Alors, ici c'est le vieux de l'extérieur. Ok, ici c'est l'exposition qui continue sur un mur euh, en bois massif euh, qui est le mur porteur de la maison. C'est l'ancienne construction ici. Et ça m'a pris un mois de polissage pour le rendre euh, si visible comme ça. This is the continuation of the exhibition on the, on the wall that um, it took me a month to polish up. Made of, you know, massive, uh, 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 very thick, you know, three inch thick wood beams um, that don't exist anymore. This is a uh, red pine, red, red spruce uh, wood. And all these trees have been cut down. So it took me a month to polish it up, and it forms a uh, excellent wall of exhibition. So yeah, we see the continuation of the Palestinian exhibition, and here is a, a Palestinian wedding at the uh, check at a crossing point that is being surveyed by the uh, military. You see, said in in fait de mariage devant les soldats en point de contrôle, probablement. Je veux un autre mariage comme ça. Ça arrive parce que le, le homme euh, n'a pas permis d'entrer dans euh, le, le point de contrôle et la femme n'est pas libre pour passer l'autre côté. Alors il fait le mariage sur le point de contrôle. Parce que les Palestiniens de, de euh, Israël avant le 67 euh, n'est pas égal avec les Palestiniens de, dans les territoires occupés après 67, la guerre de 67. So. Uh, to explain in English, uh, you know, I've seen another marriage that takes place at a uh, crossing point because the groom is not allowed to come in from Israel into the Palestinian occupied territories of 1967, and the uh, the, the woman cannot uh, is not allowed doesn't have a permit to go into Israel proper. So, of 1948, so they have to have the marriage, you know, at the at the control point. And they're, you know, of course, being watched by the soldiers because that's a suspicious activity, uh, evidently, because somebody's holding a Palestinian flag. And people used to get shot and killed, you know, for carrying a Palestinian flag. Here, more Palestinian flags in a caravan. Let's see. Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay, here's a standoff between protesters, including internationals, and soldiers. You know. This is, uh, happens frequently, like in the village of Kufr Gadum, which wants to use uh, its village road to go down to the highway, and they're not allowed to. Ici, c'est une crise uh, gelée uh, entre les uh, manifestants, incluant les internationaux, contre les soldats qui empêchent uh, que les patients puissent utiliser uh, une des uh, rues de village comme uh, Kufr Gadum pour aller le. Uh, Autoroute qui n'est pas permis. Alors, là, il y a encore face à face. Here's a face to face standoff between a soldier and an international protester. This has happened to me too. I have the videos of that, of course. Ah, encore des soldats 
qui sont en train de faire leur affaire. Et... Ah! Il y a une école établie pour les soldats. <rire> il y a une patient qui montre ce quoi le, la Palestine divisée par les uh, colonnes sionistes pendant les années. 48, c'était une petite affaire. Uh, 49, c'était uh, moitié. Et 67, ça, ça a pris tout contrôle de toute la Palestine. Et maintenant, les soldats sont là et ils sont indoctrinés pendant toute leur vie pour uh, le justifier. So here is a soldier being taught, you know, that Israel, uh, the Zionist state of Israel was nothing but a, you know, a coastal series of colonies, you know, in 1948. 1949, it became, you know, half of Palestine. In 1967, all of Palestine was taken by the military. The soldier doesn't seem to be impressed because he's been indoctrinated all his life, you know, with the justification for occupying all the territory. Okay, so... Maintenant, on est dans la cuisine. Et voilà. That's Istvan Lakotash. He used to be the uh, cook and violin player here. Before the pandemic. And we go into the old kitchen, which is now new. Yeah. Everything bright and clean. Yeah, we're very well set up here. La cuisine est bien uh, installée maintenant. Et tout est uh, propre et renouvelé. Ah. Et voilà, on arrive ici en avant. Anna est à l'extérieur. Et je vais lui demander. Oh, leftover pumpkin from Halloween. This is the 4th of November. And you see, this is a cultural center in Montreal. Down there, there's an artist who's putting out his work. Looks like Jimi Hendrix he's got painted up there. Let's take a look. Yeah, a lot of artists who live here. So let me introduce you to uh, Anna here, and uh, she's going to hold the camera for me so that I can introduce myself as well. Okay, I just have to hold it, it goes by itself. That's it, yeah. Hi there. Okay. So, you're all welcome to come visit. Visit the Bienvenue Shade La Galerie Focus. And on the other hand, we'll see you. Voila, Nasala, for the Palestinians. Come see the embroidery for Palestine. That's it, that's all. Okay, <laughs> you got it.